Hey guys, welcome back to the 1.12 pack where I think we're about ready to take on our first Twilight Forest boss because I mean it's only Naga like Realistically, what can Naga do other than slither around and get its head cut off? That's literally all Naga is good for So I can't imagine it being that difficult. Like I think the hardest part about Naga is finding it That's literally the hardest part Watch, watch now that I've said all this, Naga is going to absolutely annihilate me, isn't it? Um, but yeah, first things first, go over here and make ourselves a Twilight Forest portal. Water would help, actually, so let me go and get that first. There we go. And then you put your water in here. No, not there. You don't put your water there. Your water there and there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if that blue orchid counts. I assume it would. Yes, it does. Perfect. And in we go. Two thousand years later. Yes, we're finally in. So, I don't think I've forgotten anything like too important. Like I've got a weapon, I've got a pickaxe, I've got food, and I've got some golden apples. And also, I got some diamond armor because I went and did a bit more mining off camera and. I gave this a bit of haste, so it's a tiny bit faster. Um, it, as a, like, it's, it's attack speed's a tiny bit faster. I don't know how much faster. I think it was potentially 1.6 before, and it's 1.83 now, so a little bit faster. No, noticeably faster. I think that's a good way to describe it. But, yeah, it's really not looking like, oh, there's a house over there. Let's go and explore that. And also, is it just me? Am I running really slowly? Like... Am I... I'm not moving very fast. Mushklo. Oh, I'll take some of them. I'll collect them later on, but I'm really not moving very fast, am I? That's not... I'm not being stupid here. I'm just not... Yeah. Okay, it's, the game's lagging a little bit. That's lovely. Nothing in that chest. And nothing in that one. So, that was extremely pointless, and ow, they hurt quite a lot. What's this? Oh, I think it's just a tree, actually. I think, yeah, no, it's just a tree. But yeah, I think... I, I have said the hardest part about Naga is finding it, isn't it? So I may need a massive cut for this, because it could actually... It could genuinely take me, like, a solid hour. A few inches later. Well then, apparently I was wrong. We've literally found it in about a minute. So... Oh, wait... Oh, no, you can destroy it. It's just, yeah, I don't know why my game's lagging so much. There's Naga. Yeah, I don't know why my game's lagging so much, but it really isn't good. So, half a heart damage on that hit, but yeah, I'm doing loads of damage to you, and I've got golden apples, so we realistically should be fine. Like, yeah. Might even take on the Twilight Lich if we can find it. Although saying that, the last time I did that, it nearly killed me. And... Oh, the lag. The lag is going mad. And come on, we've got... Come on. There we go. That's the annoying thing about Naga, is it's so fast at, like, low health. So some Naga scales and the Naga trophy. Nice. And that's, I think, all you get from Naga, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the Naga scales, they do have... Um, you can make armor with them, and... If I'm not wrong... Um, they act as a, a, a modifier for something, but I can't remember what it does. Uh, but yeah, that was really easy, like I thought it would be. Armor didn't take too much damage, so let's just go and find the Twilight Lich then, because, I mean, it can't be too much harder, surely. Right then, here we are, the Lich's Tower. And there's a skeleton spawner straight away, so we want to destroy that and move into... Ah, skeleton and a book. Oh, it's got a Pikachu hat. Oh, can I have that? Thank you. Yeah, this is... A bit problematic. There are quite a lot of things, so yeah, let's just run away from those things and try and make our way to the top of the tower as quickly as possible, because that's where the lich is, and that's where I want to be. Because the longer I stay down here, the more likely I am to die. Because I'm just going to keep taking damage. Because I can't, I can't be bothered to destroy the spawners. Actually, saying that, maybe I should just destroy that spawner there, because it's quite close to me. Get rid of that. Nah, let's just go for it. Right, so the trick with the 
Lich is I find it's easier just ow to not get hit by those and I do this is difficult yeah but what you want to do is launch the ender pearls back at the lich so that way it destroys the shields and then eventually you can hit it normally ah run away much 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 later yes there we go so now we can hit the lich properly but this is actually the most difficult part because pretty much he starts spawning in zombies and then once you get him really low, he'll start hitting you himself. And when he does that, it really, really hurts. Like, and I mean really hurts you. Like, the first time I did it, it nearly killed me. Come on. Come on, just a few more hits. I don't know where it is. One more hit. There we... No, there we go. Yes, and we've got all this loot. So, we want to get rid of this. Sep Scepter of Twilight. Don't need golden legs, don't need golden chest plate, don't need helmet, don't need ender pearl. There it is, the, 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 I can't even speak, the Twilight Lich trophy. And that was also very easy. So, um, now what? I've only, I've only been recording 15 minutes and I've already killed two of the bosses. Yeah, so I think this is A, going to be quite a short episode, and B, I think what we'll do now is try and make a little place for our trophies to go. So what I've got in mind is like a sort of upstairs, like sort of a, a, a half upstairs sort of thing. I know it's, it sounds weird, but I, I know what I mean in my head and it'll probably just be easier to show you rather than tell you. But what I'm doing now quickly is planting some of these glow, these mush glows, sorry, around my base so that hopefully less things spawn in like those creepers. But I think he's stuck in oil, so he's pretty harmless at the minute. And we'll put one there and one in there. Why not? Yeah. So let's go. I've, been, I've already got the. I've already kind of got some wood and stuff. So we've got some maple wood and some dark oak, which I feel like. When did I get that spawner? When did that happen? Um. Okay, it's a thing apparently though. So we're gonna put these in here, and I feel like my base is gonna end up being quite a lot of wood. But what I'm also thinking is. That I just basically tear down like all of this. Because I don't think it's that useful. I don't think it looks good. I feel like I'll have to separate them somehow. But I feel like that's not the way. But what I'm going to do now is build a little staircase. Maybe start it here. Actually, do you know what? It would probably be easier if I turned most of these into... um dark oak planks and start it like this because that way I'll have a better idea where I want to go so I reckon wait if it's on this level it's really not hmm oh do you know what it'll be fine yeah we'll start on this level here roughly and it's going to go right the way across here actually do you know what hang on before I do all of that do you know what no I'm, I'm feeling actually one further down oh do you know hmm do you know what? I'll just, I'll just, fin I'll finish it and see what happens. But yeah, that right the way across, and then pretty much it becomes a floor. We build some stairs up, probably put some fences along this block, and then depending on like how it looks, then we'll change some more things. There we go. The upstairs balcony sort of thing is pretty much done. But some off-camera work. I need to go and get loads of this like naga stone and cracked naga stone and naga stone pillars and all that sort of stuff. So that I can decorate this entire back wall. It's like a Naga Stone courtyard theme sort of thing. And then we're going to place... I mean, they probably won't stay exactly there and there. But that is going to be like my trophy wall. But obviously, it needs it needs quite a lot of work. Because I need quite a lot of the Naga blocks. And then I'm going to have to think about their positioning. Because, yeah, that just doesn't look... It doesn't look great, does it? <laughs> but yeah... It may end up being a shorter episode, but what can you do? I wasn't expecting the bosses to be that easy. Um, so yeah, anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.